Hey there, it's Steve and Courtney from SeriousKeto.com and in today's video we are going to do a Birch Benders Belgian Waffle Smackdown Jamboree. Pitting. What do we have here? The Keto Birch Benders and Paleo Birch Benders. But before we do that, if you're interested in low-carb cooking videos, product and ingredient reviews, and lessons learned from my experiences with the ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting, then click that subscribe button right there. And while you're at it, uh, click the bell too to turn on notifications so you don't miss one of our videos. Absolutely. A few weeks ago, we did a sort of low-carb waffle challenge yeah. with the Birch Benders versus Carb Quick. Paleo. Yes, birch Paleo ben birch benders. Important point. What were your thoughts? Remind our viewers um, if they haven't watched the video. If you do want to watch the video, here, we'll link to it right up here so you can see how that uh, review went. Yep, so I like the, the birch benders better. The thing is, though, it, you know, it obviously had more carbs, which isn't what we're looking for, but the texture, the carb quick, was a little weird, so I'm excited to try the keto version today. Yeah, it was kind of, I don't know how I would describe it. Crumbly. crumbly. Yeah. Crumbly. Kind of like a, a biscuit or sugar cookie, yeah. you know, is crumbly. Not a waffle. Uh, additionally, it was a lot more complicated to make. There was a lot more in the way of ingredients and some very specific steps that, you know, you had to go through in order. The birch benders, far simpler to make. It's just the, the mix, some water, and some coconut oil. So you also, you were, while I was setting up the equipment, you were looking at uh, the back of the packages. Anything jump out at you? Um, well, the, the ingredients for both of them are pretty much the same. It's kind of just the amounts of everything that varies. Um, so I'm excited to see if that makes the taste so, different. Uh, you point out this, what's this, tiger nut flour? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Never heard of it, but. But that's in the, the keto one. All right, let's go ahead and uh, and make our waffles. Okay. All right, you have one cup. I have three quarters of a cup. Yours calls for three quarters of a cup of water. Mine calls for a half a cup. And mine calls for one tablespoon of oil. Yours calls for one and a third, which would be four teaspoons. Well, but I can do one of those and one of these. That's true. You can. So we're using coconut oil. We actually used vegetable oil when we did the last batch. So coconut we'll see how this tastes. Better. Now I noticed mine has got um, some little specks in it. It's almost like uh, you know banana bread looking. So now we just wait for the waffle makers to heat up and we'll make some waffles. Your batter, the paleo batter, is quite a bit thicker than mine. Definitely. So you're going to be using uh, a disher and I'm going to use just a spatula. Very airy, holy moly. Oh, I have a feeling mine's gonna be leaking out. Oh yeah. So I definitely overfilled mine. We've got some molten waffle action going on there. I did mine perfect, though. Okay. Well, you're awesome. Uh, so what is it? When the when the green light comes on, it's I done? I think so, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. So I would call this a pretty good-looking waffle. One of the things that we saw in the Carb Quick versus Birch Benders Paleo is the Birch Benders Paleo came out lighter, and it came out lighter than the... Uh, the keto pancakes as well. So I'll give you half. All right. And I'll take half. A little butter. Pancakes. 
you. Yep. Well, it's kind of warm standing over these waffle makers. Which one are you doing? I'm doing paleo first. So I stand by my opinion from the previous video. I mean, this is a waffly tasting waffle. I mean, this is Delish. like an ego or something. I mean, it's mm -hmm. uh, good stuff. A little sausage for the palate cleanse. First thing I notice is that the uh, the keto version is a lot more crumbly. Uh -huh. Different texture. The texture st starts out really light and really fluffy, but then as you chew it, it almost seems a little grainy. Yeah, it does. Mm. It reminds me an awful lot of cornbread, honestly. That is the texture of it. That one has more almond flour in it, which probably might give it that texture. Okay. I don't know. The Birchbender's Paleo has 11 net grams of carbs per serving, and the Keto has 5 net grams of carbs per serving. So, significantly fewer carbs, but it's not as waffly tasting. I want to taste this again. Yeah, texture, totally like cornbread. I think what might be interesting is to maybe make some muffins out of this. You know, and see if they're like cornbread type muffins. Maybe use uh, some cornbread extract or something yeah. to, to, you know, punch up that corn flavor a little bit. Like it, it falls apart, you know? It's weak. Couldn't make a sandwich with it. I'm not a huge sort of waffle or pancake person anyway, but I think if I you know had a serious craving for one, this would satisfy my craving. So if, if you're counting carbs, but not really, really strictly counting carbs, I go with the Birchbender Paleo Keto. It's, it's a decent pancake. It's not the winner here. And... Uh, I think in a future video, we'll maybe give that uh, cornbread idea a try and see how that turns out. Mm -hmm. Closing thoughts? If you're paleo, good for you. <laughs> good waffles. All right. Thanks for watching.